Hello students, let's do constructions, exercise 23C. This is on page number 237. Question, the main question says, construct a triangle ABC with, and we have many questions under this. The first one, AB equals 6 centimeters, BC equals 8 centimeters, and AC equals 4 centimeters. So as you can see, we have been given the length of the sides. There are no angles mentioned here. It's only in centimeters. That means we are talking about the length. So the first thing that we can do is we can draw a rough figure just to get an idea what our triangle should be like. And you don't even need to use a, your scale. You can do it in your working column, just a rough one. So let's just draw a rough one here. AB is 6 centimeters. So let's make our baseline AB. So we have a baseline. Let's name it AB. Let's follow the question. According to that, AB is 6 centimeters. So we have just drawn a rough one here. Then BC is 8 centimeters. So B is here, as you can see, B is here, and then C will be up because we are forming a triangle. We are drawing a triangle, isn't it? So we'll mark that as C now. And according to this, B, C is 8 centimeters. So this side should be 8 centimeters. Now we have only A, C left. So A, C is here, and A, C is 4 centimeters. So this is just for us to get an idea of where to put our markings our letters and the measurement that we need to get. So now let's begin the actual construction. So first step is draw a line segment AB equals 6 centimeters according to the rough figure also we have it there. So we are drawing a line segment. We are going to name it AB and this is 6 centimeters. So this you can do with the help of your ruler. So measure 6 centimeters on your ruler and draw this line segment. Second step, use your compass now. Take B as the center. So we have V here and use your compass, take B as the center and cut an arc of 8 centimeters. Go back to the rough figure. You can see BC is 8 centimeters. So this side we need 8 centimeters. So take 8 centimeters on your compass. The radius should be 8 centimeters. Keep it on B and draw an arc. Cut an arc of 8 centimeters. Now you don't know where the arc is going to meet the other arc, so you can draw a long arc if you need and later erase the ones, the parts that you don't need. Okay, so I have drawn one arc there. Now this is the first arc. Now use the compass again and take A as the center this time and cut an arc of 4 cm radius because AC is 4 cm. So we're going to keep it at A and cut this arc. So when you take it at A, remember your compass has a radius measurement of 4 centimeters. So let's do that. So we've cut an arc. Then mark the intersecting point as C. So this is the intersecting point where the two arcs have met. So we're going to mark that as C. So that is C. Then join AC. Where is A? A is here and C is here. So join AC and BC, we have B here and C there. So this is four centimeters, we're joining BC and BC, as we know, according to the rough figure is eight centimeters. So let's write is eight centimeters. So now we have got our triangle according to the question given. So the triangle ABC so obtained is the required triangle. So this is how you construct a triangle when three sides are given to you. Let's go on to the next question. Question 2. Now here also the measurement of three sides is given to us. Again, as you can see, we have AB equals 3.5 centimeters, AC 4.8 centimeters, BC 5.2 centimeters. So we don't have any degrees. It's all in centimeters. That means we're talking about the length of the sides. So let's draw a rough figure. So let's draw AB. This is equal to 3.5 centimeters according to the question. Now we have to draw AC. That is from A. We have to draw a line coming here. So this is AC. We'll mark this as C and this is going to be 4.8 centimeters. And then we have BC. BC is here. So that will be 5.2 centimeters. So that is simply a rough figure. 
So now we have a rough figure just to tell us how the triangle might look like with all the measurements given. So let's start. Draw a line segment AB equals 3.5 centimeters. So that's the first step. Line segment AB 3.5 centimeters using your ruler. Then use a compass. Take B as the center. This is just like construction 1. Take B as the center and cut an arc of 5.2 radius. So we are drawing an arc of 5.2 radius. Now you can draw a longer arc. Use the compass again. Take A as the center this time and cut this arc. Remember this time the radius will be 4.8 centimeters. When you drew the arc from B, it should have been 5.2 centimeters. And when you draw it from A, it should be 4.8 centimeters radius. So take your measurements carefully. Then next step, mark the intersecting point as C. So you have the point where the two arcs have met as C. Then join A, C. A and C, join it. B, C. Now A, C is 4.8 centimeters. Join B, C and B, C is 5.2 centimeters. So we've got our triangle A, B, C. So the triangle ABC so obtained is the required triangle. So this is how you construct when the measurement of three sides is given to you. Question 3. AB is equal to BC is equal to 5 centimeters. So here AB and BC. AB and BC are 5 centimeters each. And AC is 3 centimeters. Now we have been asked to measure angles A and C. And we are asked is angle A equal to angle C. Okay, so let's start by doing our rough figure first. So let's draw a line segment AB. And according to the question, AB and BC are, are the same and both are 5 centimeters. So this is 5 centimeters. Now we need to draw BC. So we have BC here and BC is also 5 centimeters. Now next part is AC. Now, AC is 3 centimeters. So, you have to get your measurement correctly. AC is 3 centimeters. So, this is a rough figure which will not have the exact measurements. Next question is, next part of the question, measure angles A and C. So, where are angles A and C? We have angle A here. So, this is angle A. We have to measure this angle, angle A here. And we have to measure angle A. C. Angle C is here. We have to measure these two angles. This we can measure with the help of a protractor and find if angle A and angle C are equal. So that is our rough figure. Now let's begin the actual construction. So draw a line segment AB equals 5 centimeters. So we have a line segment AB equaling 5 centimeters which you need to measure with the help of your ruler. Draw this with the help of your ruler. Now use the compass. Take B as the center. So B is here and cut an arc of 5 cm radius because BC is 5 cm. So take 5 cm on your compass and keep it at B, the needle at B and cut an arc. So you have an arc like that. Then again use your compass. Take A as the center and cut an arc of 3 cm because AC is 3 cm. So let's do that. We've got an arc there of 3 centimeters. Mark the intersecting point where the two arcs have met as C. So we've got C there. Now join AC. We've joined AC and AC is 3 centimeters. Look at your rough figure. Now join BC. BC also we have joined and BC is 5 centimeters. So we have got our triangle. So Use your protractor now and measure because this is part of your question here which says measure angles A and C. So angle A when you measure with your protractor you will find it is approximately 72.5 degrees and angle C is also approximately 72.5 degrees. So with the help of the protractor when we measure we will see that angle A is 72.5 degrees. And angle C is also 72.5 degrees approximately. You will get this. So angle A, according to the question, is angle A equal to angle C? Yes, angle A is equal to angle C. So we have answered all the questions. The first part is construct a triangle with all these measurements. 
Then measure angles A and C. We measured angles A and C and we have answered this question. Is angle A equal to angle C? So the triangle ABC so obtained is the required triangle. Question 4. AB is equal to BC is equal to CA and they are all equal to 4.5 centimeters. Now the next part of the question is measure all the angles. Now they have given us sides but we are asked to measure all the angles and we are asked if all these angles are equal. So first let's draw our rough figure. So AB, let's draw AB. AB is equal to 4.5 centimeters. BC is also equal to 4.5 centimeters. Now AC, AC also according to the question is 4.5 centimeters. So we've got all our sides here according to the question. Now we have to measure all the angles. Angle A, angle B and angle C. And we need to answer the question if they are all equal. So let's begin. First step, draw line segment AB equals 4.5 centimeters. So we have the line segment AB 4.5 centimeters with the help of your ruler. You must draw this. Second, use the compass. Take B as the center. As you can see, we are following the same steps for all these constructions. Take B as the center and cut an arc of 4.5 cm radius. Look at your rough figure. 4.5 cm should come this side. So take 4.5 cm on your compass, place it at B and draw an arc. Okay, so let's do that. Similarly, use your compass, take A as a center and cut an arc of again 4.5 cm radius because according to the question, they're all 4.5 centimeters. So we have done that. Now mark the intersecting point as C, the point where the two arcs have met. This is where the two arcs have met. Mark that point as C. So the intersecting point is C. Join AC and BC. So first AC and then we know AC is 4.5 centimeters. Join BC. BC is also 4.5 centimeters. As you can see, all sides are equal. So this is an equilateral triangle. And for an equilateral triangle, even the angles are equal. So now use your protractor and measure angles A, B and C. When you measure angle A, you will see that it is 60 degrees. So use your protractor for this. Angle B. Angle B is also 60 degrees. And angle C is also 60 degrees. So we have all three angles here now measured. Angle A, B and C are 60 degrees each. So angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C and they're all equal to 60 degrees. So we've answered all our questions. We've constructed a triangle that has A, B, B, C, C, A equaling 4.5 centimeters. We have measured all the angles of the triangle and we have found that they are all equal. They are equal to 60 degrees. So the triangle ABC so obtained is the required triangle. Question 5. AB is equal to 3 centimeters. BC is equal to 7 centimeters and angle B is equal to 90 degrees. So in this question, we have been given the measurement of two sides and one angle. So we need to be careful. So let's draw our rough figure first. So we have AB is equal to 3 centimeters. Now BC is 7 centimeters. That means it should be here, isn't it? BC is 7 centimeters. But look at the next part. It says angle B is 90 degrees. So the 90 degree line should come at, ang at the point B so that we get an angle of 90 degrees there. So let's draw that. So a 90 degree angle is on this side. So it's here and the question says BC is 7 centimeters. So this should be 7 centimeters and we have an angle of 90 degrees also here. So 90 degrees is here and then we join AC to get our triangle. So this is what your triangle should look like. So let's begin. Draw line segment AB equals 3 centimeters. Follow the rough figure also. 
So use your scale. AB is equal to 3 centimeters. Now we are going to use B as a center and we are going to construct the 90 degree angle first. So follow all the steps that you learned earlier on how to construct a 90 degree angle. So the first step is with B as a center, draw any arc. Okay, so it can have any uh, radius and that arc should cut AB. The arc that you are drawing from B should cut the line AB at R. Remember, we are constructing the 90 degree angle first. So let's do that. So now this is the arc that we have drawn. And you can see that it has cut AB at a point here. And this point is going to be named R. So this is R. Now, place your compass at R. Now place your compass at R and cut this arc. You can take the same radius and cut this arc at a point. And that point where it's cut is called, we're going to name it as S. So we have a point there and that is marked S. Now place your compass at S now. Place it at S and with the same radius draw one more arc on this arc. One more arc on this one that will cut it at a particular point. So let's do that. So we have cut it there. Now again it's cutting at a particular point and we're going to name that point T. So I hope you have understood. You place it at R and you cut an arc. Then you place it at S and you cut one more arc. Now, now place your compass at S. So place it at S and draw an arc. Remember, we are drawing 90 degrees, so it should look like this. So it should be straight up. You need a straight line at B. So when you are placing your compass and drawing an arc, draw an arc on top. Let it come straight up here. So first place it at S, draw an arc, then place it at T and cut that arc. So we are drawing that. We have drawn an arc by placing it at S. We have cut that arc by placing the compass at T. And this point is P. The point where the two arcs have met, this point is P. Okay, so now next point. Next step, join B, P. So you can see B here and P here. Now join B, P. So let's join that. And we are extending the line. Let the line go up beyond P. So we have extended the line. Now look at your rough figure. So we have done AB, 3 centimeters. We have got BC, 90 degrees. Now look at the 7 centimeters. This is the next thing that we are going to do. So first let's mark 90 degrees here. So we have got B, 90 degrees. Next step. B is equal to 90 degrees. With B as the center, okay, again we are going to keep B as the center. Draw an arc of 7 centimeter radius. So take your compass, measure 7 cm on it, place it on B and cut this line, this 90 degree line. It will cut it at a certain point. Can you see? It has cut. The arc has cut this 90 degree line at a particular point. This measurement is 7 cm. You have taken that on the compass. So now mark that point as C. So this whole thing B. B, C is 7 centimeters, 7 centimeters. Follow the rough figure also, we have 7 centimeters there. Now join A, C. So we just have to join A, C now. So can you see we've got a triangle and we've followed all the instructions. According to the instruction, A, B is 3 centimeters. We've got 3 centimeters. B, C is 7 centimeters and angle B is 90 degrees. So when you have an angle given like this, First, construct that angle and on that angle, you get your 7 centimeters. So this is our final figure. The triangle ABC so obtained is the required triangle. So children, we'll stop with this for now. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.